This country leases the .tv domain to generate revenue. Welcome to Open Tierra. Today, we're exploring Tuvalu, a small island nation nestled in the vast expanse of the Pacific Ocean. Comprising a chain of nine atolls, Tuvalu stands as one of the world's tiniest countries, known for its stunning coral reefs and azure waters. Join us and stay to the end to find out about other creative ways this small country boosts its economy. Tuvalu is a small island nation located in the Pacific Ocean. It sits midway between Hawaii and Australia. It is made up of three reef islands and six true atolls spread out across 500,000 square kilometers or 193,051 square miles of ocean. Its total land area is just 26 square kilometers or 10 square miles, making Tuvalu the fourth smallest country in the world. Tuvalu is located in Oceania, fully enclosed by the Pacific Ocean. The closest countries are Kiribati to the north, Samoa to the south, and Fiji to the southwest. It consists of three reef islands and six atolls. The reef islands are Nanumea, Niutau, and Nanumaga. The atolls are Funafuti, Nukufetau, Nukulailai, Niulakita, and Vaitupu. Funafuti Atoll houses the nation's capital, Fongafal. The islands of Tuvalu are low-lying with white sand beaches and dense palm forests. There are no rivers or streams, and rainfall absorption directly recharges the freshwater lenses beneath the islands. Tuvalu has a tropical climate with high temperatures and humidity year-round. The wet season runs from November to March, with the dry season lasting from April to October. It's also affected by periodic droughts, which can severely limit fresh water availability. Tuvalu faces serious environmental threats due to its low elevation and location. It is highly vulnerable to sea level rise and natural disasters like tropical cyclones. Scarce water resources and soil infertility also present major challenges. Other concerns include marine ecosystem damage from pollution and the management of waste products on the small, densely populated islands. The people of Tuvalu have a unique culture shaped by their isolated Pacific Island homeland. It has a small population of just 11,000 people, most of whom live on the main island of Fongafel. Native Tuvaluans are known as Polynesians, descending from seafaring peoples from Southeast Asia who settled the islands thousands of years ago. The current population also consists of small numbers of E. Kiribati, Tongan, Samoan and Noruan people working and residing in Tuvalu. The Tuvaluan language and English are the official languages used in there. Tuvaluan is a Polynesian language closely related to Hawaiian and Samoan. It's spoken by nearly everyone in the country as a common means of conversing. English is taught in schools and used for government functions, but Tuvaluan is used in daily life. Christianity is the predominant religion today, practiced by 97% of Tuvaluans. The majority of islanders belong to the Protestant Church of Tuvalu denomination. The culture and way of life in Tuvalu is infused with traditional beliefs as well as Christian philosophies and practices which arrived in the 19th century. Tuvaluan cuisine is simple but flavorful, relying on staples like coconut, seafood and root vegetables. As an island nation, Tuvaluans have learned to cook with the limited agriculture resources and ocean bounty around them. Let's look at a few iconic Tuvaluan dishes that offer a tasty glimpse into this unique Pacific culture. A popular Tuvaluan treat is feke, which consists of grated pulaka, a type of taro, mixed with coconut cream. It turns into a sweet, sticky delicacy traditionally eaten as a snack. Feke is part comfort food, part artisanal craft, reflecting ancient Polynesian cooking methods still used in Tuvalu. 
Ruru soup features grated taro leaves as the main ingredient, boiled with coconut cream and onions into a rich green puree-style broth. Sometimes bits of pork or fish are included too. Ruru taro soup carries important cultural significance in ceremonies across Polynesia, marking occasions from birthdays to funerals. An inventive fusion dish showcasing European influence, taro root replaces potatoes and is baked au gratin style with coconut cream, eggs, small onions and grated cheese on top. Crispy and indulgent, it makes taro an even more satisfying feature of the Tuvaluan table. This mix of Polynesian and Western flavors encapsulates modern Tuvaluan cuisine. While independent only since 1978, the country has origins dating back thousands of years and has been impacted by various outside influences. Its history helps explain how these remote Pacific islands evolved to become the fragile, threatened, yet resilient nation they are today. The islands of Tuvalu were first settled between 1000 BCE and 500 CE by seafaring Polynesian people voyaging across Oceania. The original settlers cultivated pulaka and coconut palms. Relations were maintained with nearby islands over the centuries. In the 16th century, additional waves of immigrants arrived. Little is known of its early history due to geographic isolation. Spanish and Portuguese explorers first sighted the islands in the 1500s. Permanent European contact began in the 18th century when traders sought Tuvalu's rich seabird population. Christian missionaries followed to convert the native population beginning in 1861. The British claimed the country as part of the Gilbert and Ellis Islands colony in 1892. Hundreds of Tuvaluans were coerced into working in overseas phosphate mines in Nauru over the ensuing decades. Tuvalu began moving towards separation from the Gilbert Islands in the mid-20th century. After years of advocacy, Tuvalu finally achieved full independence on October 1, 1978. Today, Tuvalu continues preserving its sovereignty and fishing economy while confronting modern challenges like climate change, rising oceans and scarce development resources as it carves its path into the future. Tuvalu's resilience is repeatedly tested, but its people persevere. With very few natural resources, it has had to get creative to support itself and its people. Let's explore how Tuvalu keeps its economy afloat. With just 26 square kilometers or 10 square miles of land scattered across the ocean, economic activity in Tuvalu is limited. Apart from fishing and small-scale agriculture, there are few industries. The government provides most jobs and sources of income. Private sector development is minimal. Tourism is restricted by access difficulties and infrastructure constraints on the small coral islands. Tuvalu participates in world shipping registers to generate revenues, but its economic growth is gradual overall. Being so detached from global markets, Tuvalu relies heavily on select economic sectors. Fishing license fees paid by foreign fleets make up a large portion of revenue. Additionally, revenue comes from the lease of the .tv internet domain, suffix and overseas remittances. However, this reliance on external factors makes Tuvalu vulnerable. A few years back there was a slump in fishing deal earnings. It created major financial problems and constrained government budgets. With rising oceans and global warming threatening to diminish land area, environmental changes prompt questions about economic sustainability as soils become less productive and the capacity to generate revenue gets squeezed. Exploring options around finance, trade and development takes on increased urgency. If creativity and adaptation brought Tuvalu this far, Continued innovation will be key to ensuring economic viability going forward.
If you enjoyed this video on Tuvalu, you'll love this next one.